Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five super easy and simple life hacks that I learned while wrapping Christmas presents while working at Bath and Body Works. After working at Bath and Body Works for six Christmases, you definitely learn a little life trick or two when it comes to wrapping Bath and Body Works products. Some of these are so easy that you may already know how to do them, but this is just what I learned while working there. Gift wrapping tip number one. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect prettiest tissue paper. So what I could never figure out is how they made the tissue paper look so perfect sitting in the bag. I used to always fuss with it and try and like crinkle it around the package inside the bag so that you couldn't see it. But I had a coworker teach me this little trick with the tissue paper and it makes it look beautiful every time. So all you're gonna do is grab your tissue paper and grab it directly from the middle. And then once you've done this, you're gonna do a grand swoosh and that's it. Like that. Usually you can get away with just doing one, but you can also do two if you wanna stuff it a little bit further. And you're just gonna grab your shopper bag and set it right on in there. Just the right amount of chaos, but still looks pretty and evenly distributed. So I'm actually gonna make a second one so that way you can see what it looks like with two tissues. I'm also gonna teach you another little hack. So let's make the second one. Boom. And then what we used to do at work is we would spray it with whatever body spray we had in our apron or maybe whatever the new Christmas release was gonna be. I have Twisted Peppermint. Then from a large distance, you're just gonna spray it a couple of times. Kinda waft it through and then just add it to your bag. And then here's what two tissue papers look like. It's super easy and it smells nice and pepperminty. Gift wrapping advice number two, we're gonna talk about cellophane. Once again, these are actually available in store free with the purchase and you also have two options of ribbons to go with it. We've got the easy peasy one, which is just a little pre-made bow on a little twisty tie. So you can just tie that right on there. And then we also have these cut Bath and Body Works ribbons. I like these ones. These ones require a little more effort to tie on, but I'm gonna show you how I do that as well. For cellophane, we have two size options. We've got this larger, iridescent one and then there's also a skinnier one right here that isn't iridescent this one's good for if you just have a single body care item or maybe two single wick candles stacked on top of each other this one better fits three wick candles or sets of body care almost forgot to mention don't forget to grab your little to and from tag they also have available for free with a purchase so let me show you how I perfectly wrap using the cellophane let's start with the skinnier one first again this may be common sense but it really took me a couple good tries and some advice from my coworkers to really nail this down and make it look crisp and clean so obviously you're just gonna wanna slide your product right in there to the bottom. Grab your pre-wrapped bow, cinch it tight right at the top of the product, twist it around. Center and adjust it and there you have it. Easy peasy, just a single little hand soap there, perfectly wrapped. So here I've got multiple body care items, plus I've got a little pocket back on a pocket back holder. I'm gonna also show you what I like to do anytime there's something with like a loop in it, so a loofah or a pocket back keychain. So let's get this wrapped up and we're also gonna use the standard bow. So once again, just open it right on up and slide your body care items right in. Also something I used to forget to check is make sure that the seam of the cellophane is on the back of the products and not the front. It looks better so that you can see the front of the products easier. You're gonna grab your bow and make sure that the text of it is facing the correct way, right side up. I'm gonna do this in reverse so you can see a little easier, but I'm actually going to tie it around the necks of the bottles first. Just do a simple little loop like that. So you're gonna kind of roughly get it on there, tie it around the necks of the bottles and cinch your way up slowly. This ensures that it's nice and tight and crisp. That way there's like not too much loosey goosey room in there. That makes it kind of look sloppy. And cinch it tight, cinch it tight, as tight as it'll go. Perfect. Adjust the bottles inside if you need. This would be when I would add in something with a little loop. It kind of looks cute when you do this. Just thread it through one of the sides of the ribbon. Right to the center. Okay, now we're ready to make the bow. So you're going to loop one. Ensure it's cinched. I don't know if I know how to do this backwards. <laughs> loop around like you're tying a shoe, but see how you've made a little hole in here? You're going to give your finger that one piece of ribbon Grab the bow. Ta-da, it looks perfect. You can adjust the size of the bow, tighten. Here's a close-up cam so you can really see the bow technique. So this is what you don't want to do. If you wrap that piece under and over the loop, it's going to look sloppy. So do this instead. 
Wrap your long piece around the loop just once, going over and then push it through the center hole and pull with your index and middle finger. That way it will keep your bow clean and upright. So like I mentioned earlier, you can use this chubbier cellophane for three wick candles, but what I would advise doing is just taking some scissors and giving this little cellophane part after you've tied it off. Just give it a little haircut across the top and then it'll be like short and cute. So the next tip I'm gonna show you is how to dress up a candle without using cellophane. All you need for this one is another one of those Bath and Body Works ribbons. Let's say you already were in and out of stores and you forgot to grab your free ribbons. This also works for any ribbon you use. I just know how to do it with the Bath and Body Works ones, tried and true. So I'm actually just going to use the lid to make a little bow on top. So we're gonna take this off. With your text facing down, we're going to put it onto the candle like this and eyeball it and make sure that it looks like there is an even amount of ribbon on both sides. Close it back up. And then just like how I showed you before, I'm going to make a bow on top. So start with your first knot. The lid might come up a little bit, but just press it back down when it tries. And at this point, you will know how well you've centered your ribbon. I think I did an okay job. You're gonna wanna make your bunny ears a little bit smaller on this one because there's not gonna be as much ribbon if you grab those pre-cut ones. All right, over, boom. Cute, ta-da, cute. <laughs> Okay, and then if it's uneven and you just can't get it even, with the longer one, you can cut it at a diagonal. And there you have it. For the last gift wrapping idea, all you're gonna need is a box that you choose to put your gift in and then your Bath & Body Works shopper bag. We are going to turn this into wrapping paper. So what you're gonna need to do is flatten it out. So this is the only trick that we didn't do at Bath & Body Works, but I actually saw this um, Bath & Body Works a few Christmases ago posted this idea on their Instagram and I thought it was so cute. So what you're gonna do is start by going to the bottom of your bag and taking this apart. So I've done my best to open this up without ripping it. So once you've got your paper bag like that, we're gonna cut down the seam here and open it up. Next, we're gonna remove the handles. You can either rip them off or you can cut them off. I'm gonna cut them off so I don't accidentally rip any more of my paper. Now it is ready to use as wrapping paper. They do have different sizes of bags, so if you have a box that's bigger than this, you may want to opt for one of the large shopper bags. This specifically is a medium, although for this hack, I think you're gonna need something that's medium or larger. Also for boxes, you may wanna save one of those boxes that you get when you order a candle online. If you wanted to try this wrapping hack on one of those boxes, I think that would be perfect. But today we're using a six by six. So what I'm gonna try and do is line up the design onto the box. So I'm just gonna kind of wiggle this around depending on where the design falls. I think that's pretty good. I think that's kind of where I want it to fall the most. This is when you're gonna need some tape. I'm just gonna start taping it up. And then just like wrapping up any other box, we're just gonna kind of fold in these corners, tape it shut, and then we should be good to go. I'm just folding these edges to make it a little bit crispier so it kind of flattens to the box easier. So far so good. There we go, that's looking pretty good. All we need now is gift tag, pre-made bow, and two cut ribbons. Making sure the text is facing the right way, we're gonna go like this. Okay, we're gonna tape our bow on there. Then take your second ribbon and thread it through. Okay, so our ribbons are looking like that. So all that's left is take your gift tag and your pre-made bow and slide them together. And then we're just gonna tie it right where those two ribbons meet. All right, and there you go. 
It's cute, I like it. If you have old bags from previous years or if you wanna use a blue gingham bag, that would also work too, but I think that's so cute and festive. And there you have it. Those are my gift wrapping tips that I learned from Bath and Body Works, plus a little bonus one. I hope that you enjoyed this video. You'll have to leave me a comment down below and let me know who on your Christmas list is receiving Bath and Body Works this year from you. Again, thank you so much for watching and happy Thanksgiving to all of my United States viewers. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and I will see you next time. Bye.